And uh, welcome back to another benchmark and the day we're testing Intel Arc A770 which comes with 16GB of GDDR6 memory, it's a limited edition so yes it's from Intel, reference card model and I'm testing it with the latest Intel drivers at the day I'm recording this video. Also GPUs with your PCR 4.0 enabled, resizable bar and CPU I pay with the GPUs i7700 and the 3 gigs of RAM it's Kinda a little bit overkill, but you should get the same frame rate with something like i5000 generation or even 12th generation or something like Ryzen 5 7600 and 7500F and all better should be the same. You saw the title that I'm testing God of War Ragnarok and let's begin with this benchmark. For a purpose, then find another for your own sake. Hang on! I got something for you. Sindri! Coming! Before you go traipsing off into the dawn, I thought you'd like to have some back. Hmm. Well, don't go getting too cheery about it. But you're welcome. I've collected what we need to find the Norns. Shall we go? Madam Nico? Madam Mitho, where have you Mitho? I suspect we may have consequences to look forward to. We are certain the trace could not still be in Midgard. I was just there and found no trace. If Odin invited him, he must have provided a way. No, that is not the only explanation. Tell me where we find these Norns. I discovered some of their threads near the frozen lake. I stashed one for spellcrafting, but we may also use it to find them. Just remember, they really don't want to be found. Well, at least things will be difficult for a change. We should take your sled and head to the lake. Midgard. How I've missed the freezing gusts and constant radar attacks. Well, that's because they believe Kratos is responsible for Fimble Winter and that killing him will end it. Where would they get an idea like that? From me, of course. Of course. Come. Quiet. She is a friend. Now. Better they get this from you. Once the wolves have the scent of the Norns, we'll just need to follow their lead. Mm. I will open the gate. Stop whining. Their fur is matted. When did you last brush them? They are wolves. And matted fur leads to disease. Take care of them and they'll take care of you. <laughs> Brother, what exactly do you intend to ask the Norms? How I may find my son. Nothing more. You don't imagine it's a chance to clear up all this mess about prophecy? Perhaps get a second opinion on your alleged demise. You didn't tell me you had a death prophecy? When Atreus and I reached Jotunheim, we found a hidden mural. The giants. They herself had foreseen our entire journey long ago. Who we would meet, who we would fight. All of it, as it happened. But you aren't dead. That image was from a time yet to come. I see. 
You've never struck me as someone who fears death. That's not the problem, is it? No. Death can have me when it earns me. Then maybe it's not the future that bothers you. Faith. Journey, and she made sure you'd see that image at the end of it. And you're still not sure why. I wish to speak this no further. find the Norns. Watch the wolves closely. See how their heads point the way? Well, the Lake of Nine has certainly seen better days. Raiders have made themselves quite at home. Not sure I've been back to these parts since our great battle with Seekrin. She speaks highly of that fight as well. You know of that. She told me all about it when she found me. She believed you could be an ally, long before I believed it. The Valkyrie Queen, an ally. I'm the Valkyrie Queen, as Sigrun was stubbornly determined to remind me. I should have guessed it was Sigrun helping you recover yourself. He's so loyal. Why? Never. Oh. Mm -hmm. Doesn't take a love goddess to see where you're coming from. Quiet. I just hope the Norns are somewhere indoors. I'm warm. Safe to say, no, I have not missed Midgard in Thimblewinter. Thank you. <laughs> we will see soon enough. Yeah! <laughs> 
The way forward is magically sealed. Something in here is giving it power. Might I suggest the ominous broken gravestone? <laughs> <laughs> Brother, I know that sword hilt. Tread carefully. You of all people know how weapons can carry ghosts. If it does not help us find the Norns, it can wait. Let's keep looking. This way. I feel a trace of their illusions here. I can try to dispel it. Open up. There's nothing here. A false trail. I'm afraid so. We'll have to see what else the wolves can find. Typical Nornish mischief. They know we're searching. I warned you they wouldn't make it easy. And what's the hilt of a cursed king have to do with any of it? Distraction? Coincidence? Who knows? I suppose they'd say we were fated to find it. of fate we are tracing. It's not somebody's life, if that's what you mean. The Norns use it to mark their way when they're outside of the well. The Norns live in a well? No. The well of Earth, their home, is hard to explain. It's in no fixed place. Entrances come and go. A place wholly under their influence, where the intangible becomes tangible. Like... Being inside your own mind. But if we go in together, are we in each other's mind? I'm so sure I like the sound of that. Mimir, have you encountered these norns? Not personally. Freya's right, they have ways of discouraging visitation. Odin made his share of efforts. Wouldn't talk about what he found. Either he gave up, or he wanted to forget what he saw. Fair. you mind telling us what you experienced when you sought the Norns last time? To be honest, the details are hazy. Like waking up from a dream. Mainly, I remember that nothing could be done to change my son's fate. Which only made me more determined to try. Brother, what of your story? You faced the fates of your homeland, yeah? Let's see. I feel something. In this direction. Feel what exactly? Another illusion. It's coming from this wall. The norms are hiding something. Oh, no. Nothing. Another dead end. A trap! Enemy behind you, Kratos! <laughs> Go! <laughs> Go! 
It's too fast! Use your shield! <laughs> You know, this search will only get more dangerous. Then we keep looking. Back to the wolves, then. The wolves... Keep following their heads. Now, brother. What about when you faced the fates of Greece? The legends I heard about the ghost of Sparta were surely exaggerated. Exaggerated? Oh, not in the brazen bloodshed righteous fury part. The part where it said you traveled back in time itself to win a battle once lost. It strains credulity, obviously. I mean, a rumor about Thor knocking the world serpent back in history from Ragnarok is one thing. It is the truth. The threads of fate span all life and time. The sisters of fate abused their power. When I challenged them, they threatened to undo my existence. So I killed them and turned their power on Zeus. That's the most dangerous and irresponsible thing I've ever heard. These Norns have no such magic, nor does anyone in these realms that I've ever seen. Aye, can you imagine? If it existed, Odin would have it. And if Odin had it, we'd be five shades more fucked than we are already. The wolves lead us here. We need to work our way up. This way. There. Can you cut a way through the ice? Oh, are the Norns making magical ice walls now? No. I think the water is good. More of your friends. I didn't tell them to be here. Fire from above! <laughs> did to trick all these raiders into guarding them. Not that they have any idea that's what they're doing. your focus the sooner we find your son the sooner you'll be able to focus 
I just hope it works. Just the same. Thank you. A fine sentiment, but write on a bloody note when we're out of the cold, brother. We found it. Ah, isn't it always the third place? Is everyone hearing that creepy whisper? It is like an itch in the mind. It means we've stepped into their domain. Be ready for anything. Illusions. Projections, possibly. But assume nothing. There's no telling what manner of creature they've made on Witting Guard. Delightful.
Mind yet. looks familiar, but different, like a confused memory. A rather hostile memory at that. These fates should know I will not be deterred. Freya of the Vanir, master of masks, queen of the Valkyries, witch of the of Asgard, destroyer of all she would hope to protect. <laughs> she always finds something to blame. Yes, I'm a long-winded know-it-all, and I cannot change. See? You forgot smartest man alive. Well, certainly clinks like genuine Hacksilver.
suppose there's one small consolation to this ordeal. At least we won't have to introduce ourselves. Don't credit your reputation, Mimir. They see the whole lives of any who approach them. What is that? A phantom! Rogue magic! Aim for the ruining four! How Bloody much? hell! Look at that thing! The Norns are somewhere in that cave just ahead. She sound again. Normally, I don't mind ladies whispering in my ear, but this is positively awesome. Anyone ever tell you that you babble when you're terrified? <sighs> terrified? I'll have you know I'm at the very most deeply apprehensive. And breaking tension with humor is the sacred duty of a traveling companion. I, how very dare you! Babbling! I am so sick of 
Tried to stop him any way I could. Just lie! You served Odin from the day you met him to the day he put you in the tree! You sought him! You wanted his war! You wanted him to treat everyone and everything! And you never get him until you turn on you! I know, Seagram. It's true. All of it. But for love of you, I became a better man. A counselor for peace, an ally to all those who... Were you an ally to Freya in his suffering? To Skadi? To Groa? Or to Tanya? No! You all oh. took the side of the power of the You! Mother, watch out! There's more of them! Eden now! You see a clear God in me, and you can't help but gaze him! And call him brother! And who you always who you are! And it's who you are! It is not her. No. Of course. You did what you must. Mamir! Mother, help me! Monster! Atreus! I am coming! Why didn't you trust your own son? Don't let him take me! Atreus! Why wouldn't you see him the way he wants to be seen? Didn't feel much like succeeding. I see the door has disappeared. Or it was never there. They toy with us still. What is that? A Kelpie. Don't see many of those in these parts. She must be theirs. Will she take us to them? I'll ask her. Nicely. Easy, girl. Easy. That's right. Good. Care to talk about whatever the norms put you through? No. Get on. That's a good lass. Lovely creatures, but temperamental by reputation. In my land, they'd keep children away from the lost by telling them a Kelpie would drown them. Of course, no Kelpie I know would do such a thing. Unless it was disrespected. It walks on water. Aye. No mystical water steeds to speak of in Greece, brother? Hmm. There were the hippocamps. They served the sea god. 
I battled one upon a titan. <laughs> that might not be her favorite subject. <laughs> own hideaway. Never doubted we'd make it. Kratos, Freya, and Mimir's head. Enter the home of the Norns. Tentatively. They have finally reached their destination. Kratos speaks first. I, I seek, seek my, my son! son. <laughs> you know the child is an Asgard. No, you see what all who search for us seek. To know the ending to your story. That was... educational. <laughs> Let us leave this place. Happily. Things getting more normal already. Wait, that tree. Well, isn't that interesting? What is this? That's the noose, brother. The one Odin hanged himself with. As part of his endless mad quest for secrets of life and death and what have you. What are you doing? It's a charged object, significant to Odin. Perhaps I'll find a use for it. Brother, what they said about the boy... Will not happen. Oh, I agree. It will not happen. We will not let it. Of course we bloody won't. The question is how? You wouldn't seriously consider killing Heimdall, would you? I will do what I must. Oh, is that all? You're wrong to dissuade him, Mimir. You know Heimdall. I grant you that he's a spiteful, vicious little shit. And so loyal, Odin entrusted him with Galahorn. If we have the chance to eliminate him before Ragnarok, we shouldn't hesitate. Considering his powers of foresight alone, that is an if of mountainous size. <sighs> Even supposing we're all perfectly comfortable plotting an assassination, and I, for one, am a mite rusty at that measure, we've got no way to reach Heimdall, and no way to kill him if we did. I have killed gods greater than him. I don't doubt that, brother. But it's hardly my point. Kratos, I see something. Up there. I think we're missing the Norn's message here. We've all got our tendencies, and yours is to run headlong into danger to protect the ones you love. I do not intend to change. Not about that. Why should you? Apparently my tendency is to kill the ones I love. Freya. I don't need you to comfort me. Either of you. Their accusation was cruel. None of us believe... The truth can be a cruel thing. Anyone care to argue with that? No. But Baldur's fate had many causes. Prophecy among them. How do you mean, brother? 
There are many tales in my homeland of those who fulfilled prophecy by attempting to avoid it. So it was when Freya tried to protect Baldur, and so it was when I accused my son of going to Asgard. Then we agree. It'd be foolish to go after Heimdall. No. If Heimdall must die for Atreus to live, then Heimdall must die. How can you say that, knowing what you know? Passage is gone. No one's covering their tracks already. Hmm. To the sled then. Be clear. Finding the norm. Let us find a gateway. Return home. Consider our plans. Listen, brother. Before you make any hasty decisions, why don't you blow off a little steam? I'm sure there was some loose end we meant to circle back to. Give your mind a little time to process everything. I suspect. Kratos, I should have been more specific about not murdering Nepog. Master Kratos, 
It's important we speak at your earliest ah, possible time. Time to go see the lady. I'll take it from here. No, no. This whole thing were my idea. I'll speak to the lady. I never get to speak to the lady. There are reasons for that. Brock will go. What? No, no, no. I you have to. heard him. Quit your fret. I ain't gonna mess up at all. What the? <sighs> no, you pimp shrimps. Think that'll keep us out? Well, think the fuck again. What was all that then? Oh, just Sindri trying to hog all the glory. Same old shit. Not that. The gate. What's wrong with a bloody gate? Most likely someone in need of a lair been making a fuckery of the works. Probably on account of all that incursion that you got up to. But don't worry, you little dangling head. Old Brock came prepared. I got ways in and out from the old days. Gates said never even think to look for, on account of being stupid. Brock, where are we? This here's your stop. Abandoned service tunnel, direct to the forge camp. I'll meet you up there. Go on. Brock. And he's gone. You sure he was the right pick for this, brother? I trust him. He speaks plain. And yet so colorfully. There. We keep cooperating, maybe someday it'll be Asgard in flames. That is not my goal. Doesn't mean it's not your destiny. What are you insinuating, Highness? Not a thing. Poor bugger. Why would he hide in here? He feared something in these tunnels more than he feared starving. Hardly seems rational. Fear seldom is. for liquor and explosives. Little on the nose for dwarven culture, isn't it? Ridiculing a culture you helped undermine. Classic Aesir. Oh, all right. Well, I can see why it's an abandoned service tunnel. Careful, brother. That looks flammable. Another oil spill. Ah, a fortuitous oil spill. Ah! <laughs> 
Please listen. You have to let me take Brock's place. He can't talk to the lady. He mustn't. No. Do not ask again. But... Oh dear. His fault, Atreus ran off. Put it together, the giants conceal a mysterious figure who changes the fate of Ragnarok, and you're oblivious to the only rational candidate, the one who's fought wars against gods and won. I am not their champion. Well, we're each entitled to our opinion. Gates seem to be connected. See if you can break that far fiction. Special arrows should work with ice as well. Oh, oh. Yeah. 
Watch out! <laughs> Heartier sort of grim. These won't be easy tunnels for the dwarves to take back. We'll need to get one of those gates open. No use without water in the trough. Ah, you've seen these troughs before, haven't we, brother? That worked. Shall we? This opinion of yours. Was that the reason you proposed this alliance? You expect me to lead your armies at Ragnarok? That is Tyr's job, not mine. It's plain to see Tyr's no war god anymore. Nor am I. I have left that life behind. Not killing gods you haven't. Or else what are we doing in this realm? Forging this weapon? Your choice. You know where it might lead. I am only protecting I my... know. I know. And we both know the places protecting your child can take you. His mother was a giant, isn't that right? She was one of the Jotnar. Yes. I didn't mean she was tall as a house. I, I know not all giants are giants. Not that there's anything wrong with the disparity in size. Or number of limbs, see? Nothing in the world. The 
There. Now we can open the other gate. Why is it you ask? I was just thinking of how Odin antagonized the giants for generations. Nearly wiped them out of existence twice. Now you... ...him once and for all. Don't you think it's possible that's what your wife would have wanted? Do not presume to know what she wanted. I'm not saying anything you haven't thought. Her secrets haunt every step of your path, wasn't it? Maybe if you talked about your doubts, they wouldn't explode when you talked to your son. I do not doubt. She knows what I left behind. She would never have asked that of me. Why would she need to ask? She saw your fate. Three of Odin's kin dead because of the path she put you on. You don't think she knew exactly what it meant, sending you to Jotunheim? This is mere conjecture and probably quite enough of it, Highness. We're all making an effort to cooperate here, after all. Yeah. You're right. Yeah. It is not for me to say. All right. Yeah. Let's get that wheel turning. That's a start. Let me know if I can help with Why don't we try a sigil arrow on the upper trough? Should help it stay frozen. It's no use without water in the trough. Ready for some fresh air after that. Everyone thought so. It is close. I can feel it. Look, I wasn't trying to provoke you or cast doubt on your marriage. It just seems to me your thoughts haven't caught up to your instincts yet. And I know something about when we get out of here, I'll give you some space. Let you think carefully about whether you're ready for what it means to make this weapon. 
and to use it. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'll see what else I can learn while we're here. Maybe I'll send a few Ain Herjar back to Valhalla for good measure. Well, you have fun now. Hey, you made it! About time. I got everything all set here. Now we just gotta push on up to the fort. Falky! Well, you sure did go to pains coming here, busting old tear loose. What a prize he turned out to be, huh? Lucid enough when it's time to steal my kitchen, though. <laughs> Better take out that nest or it'll be Eyeball City out here! <laughs> <laughs> Get used to that trick. Locals up ahead. That's civilized, and hopefully nobody springs an alarm. No, quit your nattering, you snake sucking mommy milk sops with your protective gear. Ain't you never seen a legend in the flesh before? Well, that ain't no good. You see what's wrong here, don't you? Those creepy flying eyeballs made a nest up on the cables. We gotta figure a way up there and clear them off. <laughs> well, this sure is exciting to watch, but you know that's out of range, right? OK. 
Okay, looks like that wheel up there opens the gate. Now that we can reach it. No grappling up that way. Why don't you look around and see if there's a way to lift this lift? Brother, did you notice the dwarves of the camp were twice as alarmed to see Grot than they were to see you? They did seem surprised. All right. Now I can turn this plane and cap that guy in there. You just give me the signal when you're ready. Now. On it! You kind of need to be up here to use it, you dig? <laughs> <laughs> 